Today we are going to study in Science 1, Chapter 2, Periodic Classification of Elements, Part 1. We have learnt in the previous standards that all the atoms of an element are of only one type. Today, 118 elements are known to the scientific world. However, around year 1800, only about 30 elements were known. The arranging of elements into different groups on the basis of the similarities in their properties is called classification of elements. The classification of similar elements into groups makes the study of elements easier. There are about 114 different elements known so far. The earliest attempt to classify elements was grouping the then known elements about 30 elements into two groups called metals and non-metals. The defect in this classification was that it had no place for metalloids, elements which have clear properties of both metals and non-metals which were discovered later. In the year 1817, a German scientist, Dobernier, that's Johann Wolfgang Dobernier, suggested that all properties of elements are related to the atomic masses. He made group of three elements, each having similar chemical properties, and called them triads. He arranged the three elements in a triad in an increasing order of atomic mass and showed that the atomic mass of the middle element was approximately equal to the mean of the atomic masses of the other two elements. As you can see in the table, the, the atomic mass of lithium is 6.9 and atomic mass of potassium is 39.1. When the arithmetic mean of these two elements are removed, it's found that the Actual mass of sodium is found to be 23. So hence, if elements are arranged in order of increasing atomic mass, the average of the mass of the lightest and heaviest is very close to the mass of the middle member. There were limitations of Dobernier law of triads. Let's see each one of them. All the then known elements could be be, could not be arranged in the form of triads, the law failed for very low mass or for very high mass element. In case of fluorine, chlorine, bromine, the atomic mass of chlorine is not an arithmetic mean of atomic masses of fluorine and bromine. As the techniques improved for measuring atomic masses accurately, the law was unable to remain strictly valid. Next, we shall see the law of octaves, that is Newland's law of octaves. The English scientist John Newland correlated the atomic masses of elements to their properties in a different way. In the year 1866, Newland arranged the elements known at that time in an increasing order of the atomic masses. It started with the lightest element, hydrogen, and ended up with thorium. He found that every eighth element had properties similar to those of the first. For example, sodium is the eighth element from lithium and both have similar properties as you can see in the table. Also, magnesium shows similarity to beryllium and chlorine shows similarity with fluorine. Newlands compared this similarity with the octaves in music. He called them Similarity observed in the eighth and the first element as the law of octaves. Many limitations were found in Newland octave. First limitation found was Newland law of octaves was applicable only up to calcium as after calcium every eighth element did not possess properties similar to that of the first. Second limitation was Newland assumed that only 56 elements existed in nature. Several new elements were discovered whose properties did not fit into the law of octaves. In order to fit elements into his table, Newland, Newland adjusted two elements in the same slot, but also put some unlike elements 
under the same note. The Russian scientist Dmitry Mendeleev developed the periodic table of elements during the period 1869 to 1872 AD. Mendeleev's periodic table is the most important step in the classification of elements. Mendeleev considered the fundamental properties of elements, namely the atomic mass as standard, and arranged 63 elements known at that time in an increasing order of the atomic masses. Then he transformed this into periodic table of elements in, in accordance with the physical and chemical properties of this element. Mendeleev organized the periodic table on the basis of the chemical and physical properties of the element. The horizontal rows in the periodic table are called periods. There are seven periods. These are numbered from 1 to 7. Properties of elements in particular periods show regular gradation from left to right. Vertical columns in the periodic table are called groups. There are 8 groups numbered from 1 to 8. Groups 1 to 8 are further divided into A and B groups. On the basis of this finding, Mendeleev stated the following periodic law. P properties of elements are periodic function of the atomic masses. Let's see the men merits of Mendeleev's periodic table. Science is progressive. There is a freedom in science to revise the old in inference by using more advanced means and methods of doing experiments. These characteristics of science are clearly seen in Mendeleev's periodic table. While applying the law that the properties of elements are a periodic function of the atomic masses to all the known elements, Mendeleev arranged the elements with the thought that the transformation available till then was not final but it could change. As a result of this, the, let's see the first marriage, systematic study of elements that's knowing the properties of one element in a group, the properties of other elements can easily be guessed. Mendeleev left some gaps in the periodic table for undiscovered elements, but he predicted the properties of those elements, example, germanium and gallium. For, ex for example, Mendeleev kept vacant places for elements like Three of these unknown elements were given the names as Eka Borun, Eka Aluminium and Eka Silicon from the known neighbors and the atomic masses were predicted as 44, 68 and 72 respectively. Not only these but the properties were also predicted. Later on, these elements were discovered and named as Scandium, Gallium and Germanium respectively. The properties of these elements matched well with those predicted by Mendeleev. Atomic masses of some elements are collected by using Mendeleev's periodic table, example gold and platinum. The inert gas element discovered later would be placed in a separate group without disturbing the table. Let's see the demerits of Mendeleev's periodic table. Hydrogen resembles alkali as well as halogen therefore no fixed position could be given to hydrogen in the periodic table. Isotopes of same elements have different atomic masses. Therefore, each one of them should be given a, given a different position. On the other hand, isotopes are chemically similar. They had to be given a same position. At a certain places, elements have higher atomic mass has been placed before an element having no lower atomic mass for example cobalt whose atomic ma mass was 58.93 is placed before nickel whose atomic mass is 58.72 some elements placed in the same sub subgroup had different properties example manganese is placed with halogen which is totally different in the properties